Nie ni dare ruo gogoni ni odwa nyu diagerere kuigwa mushirika urauga hati ni arare one gogoni dakereirwo ndeke go and command them Amen Mhm Go ahead we repeat 1 Samuel chapter 10 verse 1 then Samuel took a flask of oil and poured it on his head and kissed him and said is it not because the Lord has anointed you commander over his inheritance Mhm to Verse 2. I don't know what is happening. When you have departed body. from me today, you'll fight two men by Lesha's tomb and the, the territory of Benjamin at Zilva. And they will say to you, the donkey which you have to look for have been found Amen. after today's service. Amen. You'll meet destiny helpers. Amen. You will meet people with your solution. Amen. That promotion that you have been looking oh, for yes. after today's service, oh, yes. after today's anointing, yes. utakutana na hawa watu meipata. Verse 2. When you are departed from me today, you will find two men by Rachel's tomb in the territory of Benjamin at Zelza. And they will say to you, the donkeys which you went to look for have been found. Mm -hmm. And now your father has ceased caring about the donkeys mm -hmm. and is worrying about you saying, mm -hmm. what shall I do about my son? Number three. Then you shall go on towards from there and come to the terebinth tree of Tabor. There, three men going up to God at Bethel will meet you. One carrying three young goats, and another carrying three loaves of bread, and another carrying a skin of wine. Four. And they will greet you and give you two loaves of bread, and which you shall receive mm -hmm. from their hands. After today's harvest, emptiness, dryness, it uh -huh. on Amen. Utakutana na watu wa faida. Amen. Utakutana na watu wa baraka. Amen. Na jaa yako itafika mwisho. Overflow anointing. Amen. Mm -hmm. Verse 5. After that you shall come to the hill of God where the Philistine garrison is. And it will happen when you have come there to the city that you will meet a group of prophets coming down from the high place with a stringed instrument and tambourine and a flute and a harp before them. And they will be prophesying. Then the spirit of the Lord will come upon you. And you will prophesy with them. And be turned into another man. Praise be the name of God. Amen. After today's service. You will meet with the servants of God. Mm -hmm. And the spirit of discernment will rest upon you. Yes. And they will call you in another, with another name. Mm -hmm. Blessed of the Lord. Go to number 11 as I finish. Verse 11. And it happened when all who knew him formerly, so that indeed he prophesied among the prophets, that the people said to one another, What is this that come, has come upon the son of Kish? Is Saul also among the prophets? Then a man, a man from there answered and said, But who is the your father? Therefore it became a proverb, Is Saul also among the prophets? Praise be the name of God. Amen. I've read the foundation of my message and now with, without further ado I would love us to stand with our feet we receive the servant of God because me I was to read the foundation from there I know God is going to use him because this is our month of offer and all of us stand on your feet stand on your feet na kama umeka achini umekalia baraka sako madheka stand up I told you to sit there. Come, come this way. You are a, you are a scary in the house of God. Come here. Amen. Appreciate our deacon. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Are you ready to bring the servant of God? Piga magofi masuri 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 masuri. Amen. Me, I was to rain the foundation. Amen. Take over, man of God. God bless you. God bless you. Hey, inua mikono yako juu vizuri. Sema Amen. maneno haya nyuma yangu. Sema Bwana Yesu. Bwana Yesu. Ah, ah ongezea ni sauti we. Sema Bwana Yesu. Bwana Yesu. 
Asubuhi ya leo. Asubuhi ya leo. Niko kwa Samueli. Niko kwa Samueli. Na ninaamini. Na ninaamini. Baada ya ibada ya leo. Baada ya ibada ya leo. Samueli atakapozungumza. Samueli atakapozungumza. Nitakapoondoka kwenye ibada. Nitakapoondoka kwenye ibada. Watu watajua. Watu watajua. Nimekutana na Samueli. Nimekutana na Samueli. Na maisha yangu. Na maisha yangu. Yatabadilika. Yatabadilika. Sura yangu. Sura yangu. Itabadilika. Itabadilika. Maongeo yangu. Maongeo yangu. Yatabadilika. Yatabadilika. Kuanzia leo. Kuanzia leo. Mpaka Disemba. Hata Disemba. Ninamaliza kwa nguvu. Maliza kwa nguvu. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Weka makofi na useme ile. Haleluya. Weka vizuri. Weka vizuri na useme ile. Inua mikono mwambie Samueli 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 Usiache kutulilia Usiache kutulilia <laughs> Mbele za Bwana Mbele za Bwana Paka maadui zetu Kama adui zetu Wawe chini ya miguu yetu Wawe chini ya miguu yetu Kwa jina la Yesu Jina la Yesu Celebrate your Samuel and sit in your seat hey. Amenikuchie. <laughs> Kwanza pigia Bishop Makofi kwa sababu ya kazi nzuri. Ili fanyika jana. Ah piga vizuri we. Piga vizuri hiyo Makofi. Unajua jana wenye Mungu kuwa hapa jana mtaelewa. Lakini wenye walikuwa hapa wataelewa. Si useme amen. amen. Ya pili pigia Reverend Lois na Reverend Eric Makofi mazuri. Makofi tu mazuri. Makofi tu mazuri. Pigia wachungaji wenu wote makofi wote mimi sijui majina yao wote mimi najua tu ya mama kiongozi hata jina yake sijui na mwitaka tu mama kiongozi na hivi jina yake sijui na usiniulize kwa nini sijui sasa leo tunafanya ibada very short and precise jamani si useme amen amen mke wangu ameniambia ni wasalimie pokeni salamu za mke wangu ah pokeni salamu za mke wangu we receive them Unajua huyo mama angenikataza kuja. Ni ukweli. Achukue hii suti aiweke kwa maji. Yeah. Unajua kuna wanaume wengine hapo wa, wa, mango sao sinakaa kwa maji Jumapili. <laughs> Friday. Eh Friday, alafu ile aikaushwe. Amen. Leo tunataka kuwabariki. Mtu mmoja aseme amen. Amen. Wangapi wako tayari kubarikiwa? You know, Hallelujah. it is a month of blessing. It is a month of overflow. And I told you and I will repeat my words again. There is healing in the pot. Jamani si useme amen. Amen. Wakamwambia Elisha akawaambia. Hapa kwa chungu kuna mauti. Amen. Akaleta vitu akaviweka. Wakasema ndani ya chungu kuna baraka. Amen. Ndani ya ikanisa kunaenda kubadilisha maisha ya mtu. Amen. Haijalishi ulipitia wapi. Haijalishi watu walisema nini. Baada ya ibada ya leo Amen. Sauli alionekana tofauti. Hallelujah. Guza watu wawili mwambie utaonekana tofauti. Utaonekana tofauti. Guza mtu mwambie ukiona nimenyamaza ni utofauti. Ukiona nimenyamaza. Ukiona sikusalamii si marigo. Mwambie sio marigo. Kuna kitu nimekutana na. Unajua Sauli ni yule yule. Yes. Sauli ni yule yule. Yule. Lakini alipokutana na Samuel Hallelujah. watu wakauliza Amen. hata Sauli anatabiri inua mikono juu watakuheshimu tu inua inua isema kuanzia leo kuanzia leo walionidharau walionidharau wataniheshimu wataniheshimu kuanzia leo kuanzia leo waliosema mimi ni bure waliosema mimi watakula kwa nguvu zangu watakula kwa pokea neema uwalishe katika yaani pokea neema uende uwalishe receive it in the name of Jesus wale walisema huyu ni Sauli ni wale walikuwa wamejua Sauli mtafuta punda Goza mtu mwambie wewe unaenda kubadilika hiyo. That is the kubadilika. message of the season. In the name of I tell you that is the, that is it. Okay. Wakati nilikuwa ninapanga usiku Mungu nikiomba nikuje niwahubirie. Yes, Bwana akaniambia wakati utakutana na mafuta Dio sura yes. yako itabadilika. Mwili wako utabadilika. Usemi wako utabadilika. 
Samuel ni yule yule lakini mafuta yalipokuja juu yake akawa Samuel tofauti Niwa mikono sema Mungu. Mungu. Mimi ni yule yule. Mimi ni yule. Lakini nitakapokutana na mafuta watu watoe ushuhuda wangu. Pokea neema watu watoe ushuhuda wako. Unajua Samuel hakutoa ushuhuda wake wala Sauli hakutoa ushuhuda wake ni watu waliuliza je huyu ni yule Eric huyu ni yule Eric wa bishop ametuambia wa, wa slippers ya red na ingine ni ya blue huyu ni yule kwa sababu mafuta yakija juu ya mtu yanaondoa kila utasa jamani si useme ime. ime Exodus fungua biblia yako sasa maana nataka kufundisha seven gates of blessing na ndio nilikuwa nataka nisome hiyo maneno Samuel alikutana na Sauli Milango saba ya Sauli ikafunguka. Jamani si useme ime. Amen. Yaani nitakuonyesha hiyo vile ilifunguka. Biblia inasema katika kitabu cha kutoka. Are you there? Exodus. Exodus number. Hey, rima shata. Maana nataka tu hiyo 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 flag itayarishwe. Maana leo watuhubiri sana. Maana ni siku ya kuachilia muende kwa baraka zenu. Maandiko inasemaje Exodus number 23 soma hapo reference verse 25 Exodus 23 verse hey. number 25 verse 25 Nanyi mtamtumikia Bwana Nanyi mtamtumikia Mungu, Mungu wenu Bwana Mungu wenu na atabarikia chakula chenu Naye atabariki chakula chenu na maji yako na ngoja jamani si useme ime. Amen. Kuna vitu mbili mwanadamu anakutanaga nayo Ya kwanza ni chakula ya pili ni maji. Jamani si useme ime. Amen. Na ndio Mungu akamwambia Sauli, utakapotoka mbele ya Samuel, utakutana na watu waliobeba mikate na wakabeba maji inaitwa divai. Jamani si useme ime. Amen. Na Mungu akama, akasema, chakula chenu kitabarikiwa Amen. na maji yenu itabarikiwa. Endelea hapo chini. Nami nitakuondolea ugonjwa. Nami nitaondoa kila aina ya ugonjwa. Wakati Samuel alitoka mbele ya, sa, ya, ya wakati Samuel alikutana na Sauli. Sauli alikuwa na ugonjwa wa kutafuta punda. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe sana. Mawazo yake, akili yake ilikuwa katika hali ya kutafuta punda. Lakini alipokutana na Samuel, Sauli maisha ikabadilika. Nawe utakapokutana na neema ya Mungu, maisha yako lazima Nua mikono juu sema katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Weka weka juu weka juu vizuri. Sema katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. E, e, vizuri ongeza sema katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Chakula iwe dawa. Chakula kiwe dawa. Maji iwe dawa. Maji iwe dawa. Sikiliza maandiko yanasemaje songa hapo chini. 26. Ehe. Hapata kuwa na mwenye kuharibu mimba. Kuna vitu tatu lazima uelewe. Wakati bishop wakati umeongea maneno ya Sauli na Samuel Ukitu ya kwanza alipotoka mbele ya Samuel the first miracle was food amen take that one to the back Biblia mm. inasema kwamba Samuel akamwambia Sauli utakapotoka utakutana na watu kule chini na ya kwanza watakuwa na mikate ya pili watakuwa na divide uh-huh. ninaomba baada ya ibada ya leo oh, yes. Hakutakuwa na njaa katika ukoo wako. Hakutakuwa na ukame katika anga yako. Hakutakuwa na ukosaji Amen. kama ni wewe pokea hiyo neema baada ya ibada ya leo. Hakutakuwa na utasa miongoni mwenyu. Amen. Go and succeed. Oh, yes. Kitu ya kwanza aliambiwa baada ya kupakwa mafuta sikiliza maandiko yanasema alipokuwa naondoka Samuel akamuita akamwambia lakini unapoenda kitu ya kwanza sio punda unaotafuta kitu ya kwanza ni shibe ili upate nguvu ya kutafuta wale punda jamani bwana Yesu asifiwe sana baada ya ibada ya leo Mungu awashibishi. Mkishiba mtamtumikia Mungu. Mkishiba mtafanya biashara. Ukishiba utakaa na sura ya kupendeza. Akaambia utakutana na wana waume watatu na ya kwanza ni mkate. Ya pili watakupea divai. Ya tatu, hey, rima shata. Soma hapo chini. Endelea bishop. Unajua niko hapa Exodus, niko hapa Exodus. Maana bishop ameongea Samuel sasa mimi nitapita maana ndio ilikuwa ujumbe. Ya akaambiwa ukitoka baada ya kutoka mbele ya mafuta ya kwanza ni mavazi mazuri. 
Ya, unajua when the food is mentioned, inaongea abundance. Jamani si useme amen. Inua mikono yako. Sema the spirit of abundance. The spirit of abundance. Inua vizuri ju. Sema the spirit of abundance. The spirit of abundance. I command you to come on I my way. Hey, so sema spirit of abundance. Spirit of abundance. Listen to this. Mungu Samuel najua nilikuwa naongea hiyo mambo. Nimeandika hiyo vitu hapa mimi nikashtuka. Sasa wakati bishop alikuwa naongea mimi nilikuwa nashindwa. Sasa kuna edaji. Maana kitu ya kwanza aliambiwa after the anointing you become a commander. Jamani si useme amen. amen. Gosa watu watatu mwambie you cannot command if you don't have anointed. If you are not anointed. Mwambie, mwambie that's why. Mambo yako unaongea una hayaendi. Maana hujawekwa mafuta ya kukomand. Wakati aliyekewa mafuta aliambiwa, now go and become a commander. Amen. Nenda uitishe magari. Amen. Nenda uitishe mume. Nenda uitishe watoto. Nenda uitishe pesa. Baada ya ibada ya leo, chochote utasemea hapa na ikutafute kabla ya Disemba. Yaani Disemba ikuheshimishe. Pokea neema ya kuheshimishwa. Pokea neema ya vitu kukutafuta. Baada ya mafuta, yes. akaambiwa ya kwanza ni chakula. Hey, ngoguza mtu babe mtu mwenye njaa cannot command hivi yeah. yote. Eh, hey. si mwangalie mgoge kidogo, mgoge pa. Mwambie mtu mwenye njaa. Si mwambie mtu mwenye njaa. Hata kama ana sura nzuri, anaonekanaga mdhaifu. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu njaa inaribugu sura. Goza watu wawili mwambie njaa inaribugu sura. Hey. Sumu so, koke, mkoke tu hivi pa mwambie njaa. Njaa inaribugu nini? Sura. Ndio Mungu akamwambia, ni kweli unatafuta punda, lakini mimi naelewa ukiwa na njaa punda watapatikana. Na kwa sababu umekuja kwa Samuel, number one, have the abundance of food. Number two, become a commander. Number three, I'm changing your position. Yes. May the Lord change your position from today. Baada ya Sauli kwa kutoka kwa Samuel, he did not become the same soul. He became a king after coming out of the prophet house. Amen. Inua mikono yako juu. Baada ya ibada ya leo Bwana abadilishe testimony. Amen. Mguza mtu mwambie Bwana abadilishe ushuhuda wako. Bwana abadilishe mavazi yako. Bwana abadilishe watoto wako. Bwana abadilishe njia zako. Bwana abadilishe. Baada ya Sauli kutoka kwa Samuel, kutafuta punda tena things were changed Amen. the bible say he became a king Amen. because of only encounter yes, with of them of this with someone Amen. inua mikono yako juu maandiko inasema niko mimi niko exodus unajua hapa hapa stoki haraka inua mikono juu sema baada ya ibada ya leo baada ya ibada ah inua vizuri sema baada ya ibada ya leo baada ya ibada ya leo i'm changing my position i'm changing my position wewe sema position 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 wewe ongeza sauti sema position 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 baada ya ibada ya leo baada ya ibada ya leo my position is changing my position is changing mana baada ya samueli kukutana na sauti hakurudi kuwa mtoto wa ule jamaa tena mm. alibaki mtoto lakini position imebadilika inua mikono yako juu father we thank you for this service amen it is not just a service mm. we are positioning men and women in this place mm. we are positioning their life mm. we are positioning their career mm. we are positioning their calling mm. we are positioning what people have been saying mm -hmm. baada ya ibada ya leo kuna watu wa hata kujua ninatangaza hiyo katika ulimwengu wa roho mm. na isiwe kwako iwe kwangu na mke wangu na watoto yes. wangu alafu ikuje kwenu baada ya ibada ya leo May the Lord position us once again. Bwana abadilishe mali walituweka. Baada ya ibada ya leo, kama walikuweka nje wakute uliondoka. Kama walisema wewe ni bure wakute wewe ni tajiri. Position must change. Lord position must be transformed. May the Lord do that in this service. Amen. 
Amor May you become what the Lord wants you to become. Oh, yeah. After the encounter of the servant of God, yes. the Bible said the life of Saul yes. was never the same again. Amen. People asked, is this the son of Jesus? Who you ni mwana wa baba yake? Ameanza kuwa nabi. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says, can we go there? The Bible says in Exodus chapter 23. Pa hapo chini pastor, twapata tuko Exodus. The Bible says, utakapo mtumikia Bwana Mungu wako, atabariki maji yako, atabariki chakula chako, ataondoa ugonjwa. Ah, rama shaluya. Rikatala baga. Umaskini ni ugonjwa. Kudharauliwa ni ugonjwa. Kutukanwa ni ugonjwa. Kunyang'anywa vitu ni ugonjwa. Inua mikono yako sema kuazi Kuanzia leo baada ya encounter baada ya encounter ya mafuta ya watu wa Mungu mafuta ya watu sitanyang'anywa vitu vyangu sitanyang'anywa sema vilivyo nilivyonyang'anywa nilivyonyang'anywa baada ya position kubadilishwa position kubadilishwa maisha watanirejeshea amen may we command your things back we command your blessing back we command your respect back we command what you lost back the name of jesus Goza mtu mwambia hizi hizi maisha yako. Mwambie when things come back. When things come back. Amen. This is not my body. Amen. When things come back. Yes. You will see my body. Amen. Hey, so say amen. Amen. My friend, wakati alitoka kwa kwa, kwa kuhani, uh-huh. watu waliuliza swali moja. Uh-huh. Is this soul? Son Why? Of Kush. Son of Kush. Why? Yes. Yes. Kwa nini waliuliza hiyo swali? Because, because the position. Oh, hallelujah. Changed. Amen. May the Lord change you after the Amen. service of today. Of I don't care what people have said. Amen. But the Bible says maendelea. Tuko verse ngapi? Tuko verse 26. Endelea. Hapata kuwa na mwenye kuharibu mimba. Hapata kuwa na mwenye kuharibu mimba. Mimba ni ni vision. After the service of today Amen. every dream will come to pass every vision will come to pass I challenge you mekaliwa chini kiasi gani it doesn't matter how 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 they have oppressed it yes Saul alikuwa mfalme lakini watu walikuwa wanamfanya mtafuta punda goza mtalia karibu naye mwambie mimi mwambie mimi si yeye unajua si mgoge mgoge si mama juu goza watu waide mwambie mimi si yule unaofikiria yeye hapa tu hapa baada ya mafuta ya leo hayo rama shata la bagara baada ya mafuta ya leo my position is changing i'm becoming what i was intended to become hadi alikuwa anatafuta punda lakini position ilikuwa ni mfalme. Alikuwa anachunga kondoo Daudi. La kule kondeni. Watu waliona mchunga kondoo. But the vision was a key. It only needed Samuel to anoint David position to change. It only needed Samuel to ordain Saul a position to change. May the Lord anoint you today. After you are Samuel anointed. Toka kwa kuchunga kondoo. Nenda ukafanyike mfalme. Toka kwa kutafuta punda. Nenda ukafanyike mfalme. Amen. Salamu ya karibu na mwambie hii si maisha yangu unaona. Hii si maisha. baada ya ibada. Baada ya ibada. My position is changing. Oh, rama sha. Likatana baga. Listen to me. David was just a king in a shepherd's cloth. Listen to this. He was a king in a shepherd cloth that man was a king but in a clothing of us are looking for donkey amen huyo jamaa alikuwa mfalme lakini alikuwa amevalishwa mavazi ya kutafuta punda lakini alikuwa nani mfalme he was a king lakini alikuwa amevalishwa mavazi ya kutafuta punda David was a king 
Lakini alikuwa amevalishwa mavazi ya kuchunga kondoa. After the anointing position changed. Amen. What was inside came out. Amen. Amen. After the anointing of the today. Name of Jesus. What is inside must come out. Amen. Go some to remember what is inside. What is inside? Will be reflected outside. Hey, rima katala. What is inside? That man was a king. Lakini mavazi ya kutafuta punda. Ilihitaji mafuta ya Samuel ya Samuel. Na Samuel yule yule aliyodain Saul. Ndio Samuel yule yule alitoa mtafutaji wa punda akamfanya mfalme. Akatoa mchunga kondoo. Akawa mfalme. Hallelujah. After the service of today. Ndio mikono yako juu. Sema katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Hakuna utasa baada ibada. Hakuna utasa baada ibada. Sema katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. My position is changing. My position. Hey, can you can you change? Can you move a little bit? Say my position. My position. My position. Changing. After the service of today. After the service of today. Ile mavazi walinivalisha yes. inaenda kuondoka baada ya mafuta ya overflow hiyo mafuta babazi itaondoka the intended will of god will be manifested amen ndio mikono yako rima shatara hilo atuambia bwana baada ibada ya leo baada ya ibada omba tu mimi nataka uambie mungu kwa maneno yako kama ni kiluya kikitaluo kikuyu mwambie gaida goda ida manama nama kama ya sauli ilibadilika kwa sababu alikuwa amevalishwa mavazi ya kutafuta punda na alikuwa mfalme hata na mimi walionivalisha ninaenda kuiachilia na ninaenda to the will of god what god intended in my life walimvalisha mavazi ya kuchunga kondo kumbe alikuwa mfalme lakini baada ya mafuta alikuta juu yake thank you jesus ndio mikono yako thank you holy spirit i want to dek- ata kwa wale wanatuangalia kwa kwenye mitandao there is a transformation there is a transformation overflow means transformation overflow means respect overflow means a new office overflow means respect from the people who are used to you listen to this the bible says hakuta kuwa na mwenye kuharibu mimba endelea wala aliyetasa wala aliyetasa mm. that is a very powerful scripture amen inua mikono yako juu sema kuanzia leo kuanzia leo baada ya kukutana na Samuel baada ya kukutana na Samuel roho ya utasa roho ya utasa unajua utasa does not mean kutokuza watoto mm-hmm. ina maanisha unajua this man was bark Saul was a king but in a barren cloth mm-hmm. David was a king but in a barren cloth. Ya kuwa kwamba I cannot manifest the will of God. Lakini wakati alikutana na, na Samuel utasa uliondoka. Uku ukaingia. Baada ibada ya leo. Kila roho ya utasa uiache kwa hii madhaba. Wakati utaekelewa mikono hivi na mtu wa Mungu. Wakati Samuel atainua jaa ya mafuta, utasa ianze kuachilia. Soma historia ya hiyo wanaume wawili nimekuambia. Na watu walikutana na mtu mmoja. Saul encountered Samuel. David encountered Samuel. But there's a different now here. Moja alikubali maneno ya Samuel na akashika maneno ya Samuel na akakimbia na maneno ya Samuel maadui walijaribu kumuua Sauli alipojaribu kuinua kulua Daudi maandiko inasema hivi mm-hmm. I want to tell you alipiga mshale akachukua mkuki akalinga Daudi da, mara tatu Daudi akahepa you know what Saul did baada ya Daudi kuhepa mishale mara tatu akasema aletwe akamfanya jemedari waje kuanzia leo waliokuza kukukalia utakuwa jemedari juu ya the spirit ya ujemedari itapambana na wale waliokukalia wale yokuchukia watakupigia saluti go and command your people Amen. Go and command your office. Amen. Go and command your brothers and sisters. Amen. Go and command what commanded you. Amen. Receive the grace. Yes. Listen to this. Hallelujah. The Bible says, 
hakutakuwa na utasa mm. wala kuharibu mimba Amen. every vision that is hidden yes. after two days anointed oh, yes. every of gift of singing every of gift of prophecy oh, yes. every of gift of respect the of may the Jesus. lord unveil it Hallelujah. today Unajua sasa hapa hapa hii hapa tuko katika anga ya tofauti. Hii mikono juu sema kuanzia leo. Eh eh ongeza sauti sema kuanzia leo. Kuanzia leo. Baada ya kukutana na Samueli wangu. Baada ya kukutana na Samueli wangu. Naomba maisha yangu ibadilike. Naomba maisha yangu ibadilike. Naomba watu wajue. Naomba watu wajue. Kwamba kuna Mungu wa Samueli. Kwamba kuna Mungu wa Samueli. Listen to me. You can be seated for a while. I want to read two scriptures then I close. Maana nyinyi ni mko wengi sasa kabla tu waodeni nyinyi wote wa muombe hapa na Samueli mtakuwa saa nane imefika na tunataka leo muende jubadi mapema muende watu waulize je huyu ni ule wa gare wa kawaida uh-huh. unajua jana tuliulizana swali moja je huyu ni Lois kweli hata tulipopanda huko juu tuliulizana huyu si, si, huyu ni Lois lakini alipokutana na Samueli alipokutana na Samueli Lois wa zamani aliyotoka Lois mpya akaonekana leo leo utakutana na Samueli goza mtu mwambie it is only you it is only you today mwambie leo ndio Samueli wako ana manifest na chochote kilikuwa kimefinyeliwa it will come out amen chronicles got seven gates that release blessing the gate number one. are you there Get number one that releases blessing. The Bible says in the book of Chronicles, be get number one, trust God. Jamari you say amen. amen. When you trust God, the Bible says in the book of Psalms, chapter number 37, verse 3 and 5, put your trust in God, put your ways in God, and he will make your way open. Jamari mm-hmm. you say amen. amen. Bada Samuel, kukutana na Sauli, kitu ya kwasa Sauli aliweka tumaini lake kwa kwa Mungu Mungu akaelevate Sauli Jamani si useme ime Number 2 gate of blessing gate number 2 or that will open after you meet Samuel The Bible says this Second Chronicles That is a gate that will give you blessing Gate number 1 trust in God Gate number 2 respect your prophet or your Samuel Manas, get number two is your prophet. Or your priest. Let me put it that way. Wakati utaheshimu kuhani. Maana yeye ndiye amebeba baraka. Sikiliza. Baraka inaweza kuweko. Lakini bila kuhani it cannot manifest. Oh, shakala baganda. You can become a king. You are a born a king. But Samuel must come in. For that king, the kingship manifestation. Well, you can be born a king like David, but Samuel must be involved for that kingship to be what manifested. You can become you can you, you are you are born a millionaire. A priest must come in to unveil the millionaire in you. You can be born a prophet, but you need a major a, a major prophet. To come and veil the minor prophet. Unazaliwa na karama. Kuhani anai manifest. Jamani si useme amen. Second Chronicle chapter 20 verse 20b. Bible says, believe in prophets. Oh yes. And you will amen. prosper. Uneza saliwa tajiri. Uneza saliwa mutu mwenye mali mengi. Kini kama una kuhani, hiyo vitu avita manifest. Saul was born a king, lakini alikuwa mchugaji wa kutafuta bunda. Lakini sikuila likutana na kuhani, manifestation. Ya kile kilikuwa ndani yake was manifested. Amen. Daudi alizaliwa mfalme, lakini alikuwa mchuga kodo. Na muuzuaji, lakini alipa kutana na samweli, mandiko inasema. The kingship was manifested. Amen. So, get number two of blessing 
is your priest hallelujah simama jogosa watu sita mwambie heshima you are priest mwambie simama wa six people no kiona mtu ataki hiyo aiko na madharau na mimi sitaki kusoma andiko ya dharau mwambie you are priest is a gate mwambie priest is you are gate mwambie kuhani ni mlango wako kuhani ni mlango reverend kuhani ni mlango amen is a door of bless amen makatala ba number 3 gate number 3 Rima shatala baganda Find peace with people mm-hmm. Gusa mtu mwambie tafuta amani na watu Tafuta amani na watu <laughs> Mgoge mgoge mwambie tafuta amani na watu Tafuta amani na watu Sio mwambie tafuta amani Tafuta amani Maana watu ni pesa mwambie adoneo Eh wakikuyu wanasemaga vizuri adoneo Besha Si mseme kama wakikuyu ado Simama salamia mtu watatu mwambie adoneo ido <laughs> so mwambie simama juu mwambie safata tafuta amani tafuta amani na watu maana watu ndio vitu Isaiah chapter 60 verse 11 uh rapa taba yeah, that is a gate wakati Sauli alikutana na prophet prophet alimtuma kwa watu akamwambia utakapotoka hapa au utaenda kutana na pesa utaenda ukutane na watu maana watu ndio wamebeba vitu vyako watu ndio wamekubebea mkate watu ndio wamekubebea mavazi watu ndio wamekubebea kile Mungu anataka ukue nacho Isaiah chapter number 60 verse 11 can we read all of us man 